Welcome back to the Armac Showcase, coming to you from downtown Denver, the site of the Armac Men's Shootout. Over on the west slope of Colorado, Colorado Mesa, hosting their second straight Armac Shootout Final Four. The Mavs finishing the regular season in the Armac with a record of 21 and 1. Mesa ranked number four in the country, taking on Regis in the semifinals. Here's Zach Garcia. At Brownson Arena in Grand Junction, it's tied in the early going. Shreya Seltzer hits a three six minutes in to put CMU up five. Regis standout Taylor Purdy answers with a pair in the paint. Purdy scores a team-high 16 points on the night. Mesa's Audrey Bamey had a big tournament. She dominates under the basket with eight points in a 16-2 Mesa run. Taylor Rock and Kristen Lopez each connect from three-point land. Mavs lead 35-22 at the break. Bamey adds eight more points in the second half and finishes with a game-high 24 total as Mesa heads back to the RMAC Shootout Championship with an impressive 74-41 win. I did a good job of doing my work early, and when I do my work early, then it comes a lot easier, and they were just able to get it to me at the right time tonight, and we are able to convert. In the other semifinal, second-seeded CSU Pueblo squares off against Cinderella Black Hills State. The Yellow Jackets upset Fort Lewis in the quarterfinals to advance to the shootout Final Four as the sixth seed. BH is up 30-26 at halftime. The T-Wolves pull even as Ashley Piper sinks the jumper, and we are tied with 11 minutes to go. Black Hills' Gabby Haves hits a big three, and Barry follows with a three of her own. That sparks a 21-9 run for the Jackets, capped by Chelsea Bigler's deuce to put the underdogs up 12. In just their second season in the Armac, Black Hills pulls off the shocker, eliminating two-seed Pueblo, 63 to 53. If people like see this, you're like, yeah, like BH can be successful. It just depends on who you have and how much heart you have, you know? I think it's a big deal, for like not just for us, for everybody back home too. Finals night, Colorado Mesa trying to repeat as champions on their home floor. Rock gets Mesa on the board early with a three ball, and Bigler answers with a tray of her own for Black Hills. It's close early on, and then Mesa gets rolling. Seltzer for three, starting a 27-14 run. The Pesky Jackets score 11 of the half's final 14 points to close the gap to five. In the second half, Seltzer connects for her fourth behind the arc to put the Mavericks back up 10 with just 14 minutes to play. She'd finish with five threes. Lopez gets in on the act as CMU pulls away by 19 points. And the Mavericks win 73-55 to behind an MVP performance from Lopez. Whenever you got uh, your other teammates putting up pressure, I mean, I get the glory of getting the steals for them. But, I mean, it's mainly because of them. You know, everybody's putting pressure up on them, and it's giving them, them a lot more uh, harder time to pass the ball. Mesa and CSUP both earned bids to the NCAA D2 tournament. The Thunderwolves are the fourth seed in the region and they fall to fifth seed St. Mary's of Texas 63 to 57, while second seeded Mesa downs Midwestern State by 11 to move on to the round of 32. The Mavericks eliminate Tarleton State 66 to 44 and they face the top seed West Texas A&M in the Sweet 16. But Mesa falls just short of a second consecutive Elite Eight appearance as they fall to the Lady Buffs 59 to 56. Zach Garcia for the Armac Showcase. Still ahead on the showcase, Armac swimming, oh brother. Coming up next, men's track and field. We find out who is Mr. Wright. Stay right there.